Hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, as per your time zone. I'm Abdul Rahman Al Taf, and uh, I have got another video for you about Microsoft Team Live event here today. Microsoft uh, just released or uh, rolling out the new feature and the capabilities in Microsoft Team Live event in Microsoft Team as well. So we are also going to discuss the new feature in Microsoft Teams. This video tutorial is specifically for the presenter side. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Team Live event regarding the organizer point of view, just check out my another video regarding the organizer perspective. So let's jump into the Microsoft Team. If you are a speaker or a presenter, you you must have to use the Microsoft Team application either on the Mac device or on the Windows device, and you have to log in into your Microsoft Team application. Once you are logged in. you are able to see the schedule meeting so let's join the meeting so this is actually in the meeting console that we are in and uh, myself let's say the new feature is you can let's say blur the background and you can add different let's say the custom uh, images on your background stuff so this is actually one of the new features myself released and the other one is uh, noise cancellation is also released uh, the noise cancellation one feature in Microsoft Team and the Microsoft Team live event so let's jump in and join the session okay <clears throat> here we are in Microsoft Team live event window and i already join in the Microsoft Team live event from my other pc let's just to just to give you an idea as an organizer so currently i am with the presenter preview so you are able to see how the presenter look like in Microsoft Team live event so we'll start from the left side you are able to see the pre live so the pre live means the event is not yet started so that's why you are able to see the pre live one and this is the the actual time uh, from when the event is actually started from la last let's say for 3 minutes ago the event is already started but not live but with the different organizer and with the different presenter so you can turn and off your webcam if you want to and uh, let's say you can turn off your microphone if you want to i, I just want to discuss more in detail regarding the microphone perspective uh, organizer have ability to turn off the microphone of the presenter and the other organizer but <coughs> he cannot unmute the organizer or the presenter microphone <clears throat> so once organizer mute your microphone or all the microphone you have to unmute yourself so this is the important thing you need to know about the second one is the share option and um, how we can share let's say if you are going to share something with the attendees let's say we have to share let's say microsoft powerpoint presentation so we just need to select the powerpoint presentation and uh, we'll minimize this one and we will say the slide show window so now the attendees will be able to see let's say our powerpoint in slide show mode let's jump in back okay we are already sharing um, our screen powerpoint but i just stop it this is one thing i need to inform you about let's say include system audio this will help you to include your system audio and to present to the attendees Uh, how this will help you let's say uh, you have some uh, meditation uh, sessions going on and you want to present some audio some let's say background noise and uh, some background music or with the relaxing tunes and these type of stuff and you want to present or you want to uh, audience to listen to this uh, video audio or whatever the system audio is so you must have to check the include system audio button and there is an option you can share let's say your desktop or you can share the powerpoint presentation or a specific window the difference is actually it's better and it's recommended to always share only what is what needed let's say if you're going to present only powerpoint presentation so it's better you can present only the powerpoint presentation rather than sharing the whole let's say desktop so this will help uh, let's say help you and help attendees in a seamless Uh, what called the live stream and the other thing is let's say if i'm presenting the powerpoint presentation and uh, because of some 
legacy office uh, what you call um, the retired office version if you are using the some of the office uh, 2007 or 2010 once you press the slideshow button uh, the attendees are not able to see the slideshow properly so you have to test this before going to the live event so what you will do in that case if you have the older version of office it's better to upgrade but if you don't have the option to upgrade what you will do here you have to share the screen let's say you need to use the share desktop option rather than the powerpoint option so you have to keep in mind uh, these type of stuff so let's jump into the uh, we will cover the main section and then we'll go deep dive in the other sections so here we have a conversation the conversation is purely between organizer and the presenter and in Microsoft Team Live event we, uh, we can let's say handle up to 100 speaker with the capacity of 10,000 attendees at a time. Show participant. You are able to see the participants that uh, how many participants actually are in the session. This is from the let's say again only the organizer and the presenter you are able to see. This is uh, really an interesting part, the QA part. Uh, let's say we already started an event and uh, attendees are keep on joining the event. Uh, so you have to control mm, the question answers. So, so what we have in Microsoft team, whenever if someone is posting uh, the question or sending us a question answer or any query, you are able to see here in the question answer section and uh, what you have to do you have to publish or you have to dismiss or you can uh, send a private message and let's say we'll say at 10 pm so this is a private message directly to a specific participant not with all the attendees are able to see this message if you want a message to see all the attendees let's say let's do a quick demo let's say good session and someone sent a message so you want to publish this uh, let's say uh, the comments so the all the attendees are you can able to see this comment so you just need to press the publish one so now once you press the publish all the users all the attendees are able to see uh, your uh, published comments or question answers and the other thing is you can dismiss and this will come in the dis one, dismissed one let's say unappropriate one you can dismiss directly so this will help the presenter not to go through let's say all the comments he can just only see the published one or the new one he will ignore the dismissed one and here we have a make an announcement part uh, make an announcement will help you for sharing the surveys or uh, getting the response from the attendees let's say you have some surveys you create already created in match of form and uh, you want to share with the attendees so attendees can participate within the surveys so you just need to uh, copy and you have to paste here in this window and you just need to send the links once you send the link attendees are able to see the links here and then uh, attendees just need to click and fill the survey so this will help the attendees uh, to get the survey link or might be you have some attendance system and you want attendees to mark the attendance and these type of stuff so this will help you in the attendance perspective here in mark and make an announcement part so let's go and deep inside we have uh, health and performance uh, actually uh, this will show you also the network capabilities that what you have in your pc and also uh, your device capabilities uh, let's say the webcam you are using what's the resolution you have in the webcam and the policy if you have the policies on organizational level policies so let's jump in let's say we have the device setting you can see we have the headphone and if you have let's say multiple what you call uh, webcam are integrated or you have connected with an extra external webcam so you can choose which one you want to present to Microsoft team show meeting notes Again, the more nodes are um, specifically for you. And you can, let's say, create a nodes. Let's say, during a session, uh, attendee, some of the uh, attendees send a question and you want to reply back after the session. So we will take a note, let's say, we need to reply on 
question they say it and you already shared his uh, or her email address and you need to get back after the email so you can take your notes also here within the Microsoft team so we have so let's hide this one and now we have let's say full screen mode and show background effect let's say you can also select the background and you can also turn it on and off the background and even uh, you can customize the background and you can then let's say preview the background so we have multiple background if you want to try you can try with the multiple backgrounds the keypad is let's say again if you have the dialing subscription you can dial the number directly so this is the keypad depending upon the subscription that what's the subscription you have <coughs> here the interesting part is start recording you can even uh, record your session through Microsoft team and the recording you after the session you can download the recording the point here is why I'm not getting this one because as per our organization policy we already set a policy all the live events going to be recorded by default that's why I'm not getting this option but if you don't have the policy so you, you are able to start the recording here so uh, let's jump in let's uh, let me just start and start an event and give you an idea how the live events look like so let's say I'm going to share my uh, I, I turn on my camera and uh, I'm going to share my PowerPoint presentation so here I am so on the other side my presenter is actually going to present my video and my webcam uh, to all the attendees so attendees are able uh, to see uh, what's going on let's say regarding um, the live event so he already start the event and um, he's saying my mic is mute okay no issues I also I already put in my mic in mute so now you're able to see the live one so it means that the event is live now and uh, all the attendees are able uh, to watch this session that I'm presenting to you guys and there is one important point I want to discuss regarding the presenter uh, point of view <clears throat> let's say if you have an interactive session with the end user and uh, you want to let's say uh, listen the response from the end user perspective from the attendees perspective you have to uh, create such a strategy let's say 10 to 20 minutes of delay because the e Microsoft team live events are going to be delayed let's say 5 to 20 minutes uh, 5 to 20 seconds from the end user perspective and uh, why it's delayed we'll discuss this part also let's say I already open the attendee side uh, session let's say how this will look like from the attendee side so this is actually what the attendee actually is trying to see from now so let's say uh, if you send a question and the uh, attendee is going to respond and he's responding actually within a time of delay so you have to be keep in mind this one while asking some question to the attendees and there is one important thing if you're able to see here the live one you're able to see the live uh, icon so the event is live but might be uh, the end user or the participant uh, move to the QA part and then he came back or due to some internet connection or uh, connectivity problem with the attendee he can also let's say might be he started the event late so might be he's on the backs uh, he's uh, he's watching your session with the delay not with the exact live so what he need to do he just need to press here the live one so he'll be streamed directly where currently you are in so this is actually from the Mm, attendee side and uh, to give you an idea from the speaker how it look like from the attendee side so this is all uh, from my side and uh, hope you like the video and um, and you learn something new here regarding to the Microsoft team perspective just hit the like button if you learn something new in this video thanks a lot and see you in the next uh, video tutorial thank you